This is Crin, Sharp, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede. Uh, Nathaniel Hackett uh, got fired earlier this week. Yeah. Brandon, I'll start with you. Were you surprised or not really? Not surprised that he got fired. I was fully anticipating that he would get fi- that he would get fired at some point, but more than likely, I thought it'd be at the end of the year. I thought there was a case to do this weeks ago. It makes sense to get that head start. We saw the Texans do it two years ago with Bill O'Brien. They got the head start. Now, it was a little disappointing that they were the first to fire and the last to hire a coach, and then the one that you ended up with being ended up being somebody that you hadn't really honestly heard of, right? In David right. Cully. But that point aside, you you kind of understand why, if that's the direction that the Broncos were going to go in, that the timing of it would make sense, that they would want to get ahead of things. And it's not like there was a mystery there. Nathaniel Hackett way in over his head. Given the history of even Russell Wilson prior to this year, you would have thought that that would be a job, if it was going to open up after one year, that folks should be knocking down the door to get. And now I'm not so sure. I'm not even so sure if that's a job that you want because you're you're stuck to Russell Wilson, can't get out from under that contract for a long time. And if you do, it's extremely cost prohibitive. You know, it, it, one way or another, it's going to mess you up. You know, it, it was time. I mean, since the Monday Night Football game, that's when I knew that he wasn't going to be the coach. Um, I think that they only hired him because they thought uh, it was, was going to get um, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. And I think – once that didn't work, Nathaniel, his time was limited. Now, if it had a good season, like made the playoffs, maybe he could have stuck around. But I think they made the right decision to fire him now so they could, you know, jumpstart their head coaching search. I don't think Sean Payton's going to be the guy. I think they're going to get maybe like uh, Dan Quinn because um, Denver like getting defensive coaches. I was actually shocked on a Nathaniel hire, but I think Dan Quinn's going to be the coach over there. What's interesting for us is that there are now three coaches that lost their jobs mid-season, right? We got Carolina, we got the Colts, and we've got Denver. Does this mean that we are more likely to get rid of Lovey Smith? Because the narrative in the past two weeks was that we may keep Lovey, especially since we just got this dub in Tennessee. Um, So I feel like the narrative has been building that we should keep Lovey, even though I think he should be gone. I think both him and Pep should be gone. But I think that now that Hackett is also gone, this could potentially give them a little more uh, fuel to say, yep, we let love you go without getting the backlash that I expect them to, you know, expected them to get. The, like the way that they're comparable, I think, is the fact that they they would both be firing the first year head coach, you know. And so like and, and, I, and I hate to, to characterize it like this, but let's not forget the climate and environment in which Lovey Smith was hired in, mm-hmm. there was a lot going on with the Brian Flores lawsuit, the the allegations of either racism or, or racial sensitivity or not considering or giving black coaches the proper opportunity or the proper chance of firing David Cully after one year. Uh, Brian Flores with his own uh, sort of feeling of how Maybe he was slighted and all of that. And so it it certainly felt like as the Texans were about to hire an inexperienced, and obviously Josh McCown played almost 20 years in, in the NFL, but had never had never coached beyond high school. And really even that was volunteer work. Like it was going to be hard to sell in an environment like that specifically. The inexperienced white head coach, hiring him after you've gone one and done with the black head coach and honestly to me it's 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 a difficult sell to do the same thing with lovey smith but the one thing that you can sell no matter what color the coach is what race the coach is is you win one game you win two games in a season and you can always make the case for widespread sweeping changes within the organization long story short they should have been able to do enough analysis and evaluation at this point to know one way or the other, whether they like Lovey Smith going forward next year or whether they don't. To me, it should not matter exactly how these last few games play out, but we'll see. This is Crin, Sharp, Briggs, and VT. We want the touchdown. We not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede.